Hello everyone, this video we will look at the dimmer solution that is D16 Smart Dimmer and this we have developed is k 868 AP Dimmer Board So what is the difference between these two boards? So let's uh, first day we look at the D16 The D16 you can use the Ethernet and the Wi-Fi So this can use mobile phone, use the Tuya application, remote control the dimmer by the internet and also you can integrate to this board uh, to home assistant so that can work in locally with the home assistant and the Tuya application by the internet so that can work at the same time and update the state for each application and also you can see this D16 have a red RF receive module so you can use any RF remote just for 33 MHz remote that the signal can be learning from this red receive module so you can use the remote and use your mobile phone and even use, use this wall switch uh, for manually controlling this uh, LD strip or the lamp so this is the D16 and this board is AP board uh, that you need to download the ESP home firmware to use by the home assistant or you can write your own Arduino code to this board begin to use so this also has the digital input uh, you can connect with this wall switch panel and uh, uh, this is output the output because we have included the driver chip on the board so you just need only connect with the LED strip uh, to this board directly but this D16 you can see can have connect with the driver this driver and connect to the load to the lamp so if you have 16 channel LED strip you will have 16 channel driver but this board you can work without dri extend driver because the driver chip is already have designed on the board so if you have many LED strip you just connect with this strip to this terminal directly let's look at this ones you can see that is the LED strip this time I have used 24 volt of the power supply so you can see this cable I have connected 24 volt and this is the ground and here you can see that is for LED strip the LED strip you can see this 5 cables because I have used RGBW LED strip so this black one that is for power supply uh, that is for if you have choose this is 24 volt so this cable is connected with the power supply terminal directly that is for 24 volt and this is for the color red and this is for green and this is for blue and this is for white so that means RGBW and this is power supply so if you have RGBW LED strip you will use these 5 cables 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 cables so if you have another LED strip, uh, also use RGBW, you can see here we have cost the four channel of the PWM output. So if you have the second LED strip, you can connect with this, this uh, five, six, seven, eight, uh, this four channel, and for the LED strip, and uh, connect with the power supply uh, to this orange terminal. So this orange terminal is 24 volt. 24 volt so you can connect with the second and this is third one and this is the fourth so if you have RGBW strip LED strip you can totally connect with this four picks of this board and just connect to this terminal directly so this driver every driver chip has three ampere to driver this LED strip okay this is the hardware details of the terminal of the AP board okay let's look at this D16 the hardware interface how to wind you can see uh, this is 16 channel output uh, connect with the different LED strip or LED lamp this is channel 1 the channel 1 output you can see here that output 0 to 10 volt uh, to this driver and this driver will connect to this lamp uh, for 24 watt or 12 watt uh, this time I have tested with the 12 watt so let's look at 
see these details. This is the driver of the LED strip or LED lamp. So let's look at uh, how to wind. And you can see uh, that two, this is L and this is N. So this is 220 volt L and this is neutral line. And here you can see that is for dimmer, for positive and for negative. So you just connect with this two one for changing the brightness of the LED strip. So the totally have four lamp. One, two, three, four. Four one have connect with this driver. Then you can see the another is output. This is output have connected to this lamp. So this lamp you can see uh, just the power uh, for this lamp. Okay, let's test uh, this D16. I have connected with this lamp and you can see I have power on. I can change this uh, by the Tuya application. When I turn on, this is the brightness is to 99%. That is the max brightness. And also you can turn off, I just will change to zero. When change to zero, that output LD, red LD is off. So if I have changed a little, you can see the red LD is on. And when I change the percent, and this LD percent of the brightness will be also changed. So I can change. So you can see that will be change this LD lamp, uh, this 12 volt LD lamp. Okay, I can close it. Okay, let's test this home assistant application work with this LD strip that is 24 volt. This power supply is 24 volt have uh, connect with this terminal uh, for this board and uh, for this LD strip power supply. So I have connected with the channel 1, channel 2, channel 3, channel 4. And in my home assistant, we have uploaded the config YAML file on our form. So you can see I can turn on uh, this channel 1. That is red. That is red. So you can see I can also change the brightness change the brightness, you can see where the work smoothly. And turn off. So the channel 2, that is green. Turn on and turn off. And also I can change the brightness. Change the brightness. And change the brightness. Okay, turn off. And the third, I have connect with the blue. That is for blue. So also we can change the brightness. Change the brightness and turn off. And the last one, that is RGBW. So that is for white. Uh, if you LD strip is RGB, no, no W, just no white color. So this is change the brightness of the white, I can turn off. So this I have connected this four line with the four different uh, independently channel. So if you can turn on, turn on, turn on, turn on this four channel, so you can change the color. And also you can create the home assistant. You can use a uh, one lamp just for this RGBW. So because I have to test every channel, so I have create every channel output directly, independently. So I think you can also just uh, use this way, and so that you can change color easily, manually. So this is create one lamp at RGB LDW and manage this four channel by this one icon, just by this. Uh, and also you can see this is for the Relay and uh, turn on and uh, turn off. This is just for relay on and off, not for dimmer. So this I have created the 16 channel output. You can see here I can turn off. Okay, uh, this is the home assistant work with the AP board.
I think now you can understand what is the difference between this part and this part. And I think you can choose the suitable product for your project. Okay, thanks for watching.